South by Southwest is the largest music festival in the world. Over 2,200 bands play in Austin in just five days. One of those bands was Fitz and the Tantrums. Success hasn't slowed the Tantrums down. The band was named the hardest working band in 2012, and they're one of those legendary bands that actually got signed at South by Southwest. It holds a very special place for us coming here and being able to kind of showcase this new record, More Than Just a Dream, and you know, have the fans that have been with us since the beginning coming to the shows and they're super excited. The first year that we ever played here, we ended up two weeks later getting signed to Danger Bird Records, which was our, our former label. From the performance. From yeah. the performance. It was, you know, a dream come true for us. You know, we were like living the dream for any band that was basically on their last dime. We weren't exactly sure what was going to be able to happen if nothing happened, you know, at this conference. You know, we barely got the four showcases our first year that we did, you know, get. I've never, ever worked this hard in my entire life. And I mean, I've, we've all been in a million bands. I've been on tours, I've been at big scale tours, small scale tours buses, vans, and I have never worked as hard as I've worked in this band, but it's really rewarding and incredible because it really is a band and we're really, you know, yeah. doing it, for, we really are doing it for ourselves. I mean, I never used to actually believe in the whole grassroots thing. I mean, not that I didn't believe it, I just never thought I would be able to really be able to do something like that, you know what I mean? And this band really, we did. We started from like driving it ourselves in a van for a couple years and, you know, burning the midnight oil behind the wheel, you know, just yeah. to get to the next town and it's pretty crazy. We've been together for four years. We've had amazing experiences, you know, since the beginning. You know, people taking us out on tour, starting with Floggy Molly, and then going with Maroon 5, and then Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, and then having our own headlining tour in the dead of Arctic winter, and all of these cities we had never been to before, yeah. and selling out our shows. We really can only go out there and do what we do. You know, we enjoy performing, you know, spreading our, our music out there, and letting people have a good time, and that's, what we're, you know, I think that's what we were put on this earth to really do, you know, to like just inspire people to just let go.